make some changes to make the menu screen appear. So, we need to initialize the sprite font object. And because in order to draw strings, we need to have a sprite font object as well. Not just a sprite batch, but a sprite font. And then we call the sprite batch, and then we pass it a sprite font. Now, just like the sprite batch, in order to create a sprite font object, we need the content manager object. Luckily, the first thing we did in our game1.cs, we made a public static content, so we can call that in our screen manager and get our sprite font. Now, later on in the tutorial series, you'll learn how to create powerful games that will not require static variables. But for now, you do not need to worry about complete object-oriented programming. But for your first game, a few static variables are just fine. So let's go back to our code. Go to our screen manager.cs and as you see we have a sprite font, public static sprite font, sprite font inside the load content underneath sprite batch we need to do sprite font is equal to game one dot content dot load sprite font and we pass it the asset name of the font now to find the asset name you highlight the sprite font file and inside the properties window it will say the asset name if you scroll down a little bit asset name is basic only so we'll just quote basic quote and parenthesis and semicolon. Now that we have a sprite font, we need to add drawing capability to the text class. So open text.cs and inside the draw, we need to modify the draw method to print out some text. And like I said earlier, in order to display text, we need to call a method inside sprite batch and that's draw strain and we need to pass it the sprite font object luckily that's public static so we call the class and you notice after we type it in we need to do the rectangle thing again dot sprite font comma the text we want to display it's this dot text Then we have a position and this dot color, a color for active color. That's the end of the method, and that's all we have to do to draw. Now, if we run our, run our program, we still will not have anything to display. And what we need to do more is to add a sprite batch parameter to the menu screen as well just keep on passing sprite batch around to the menu screen and it's in the draw method which I completely forgot to do in the video but it's in the text tutorial a few pages back so let's add it now public void draw. We need to pass it sprite batch and we need to add the using for that sprite batch and two regions draw the menu items 
and we need a help and we need to draw the help items okay so now that we added the parameter to the menu screen we need to add a screen manager object to the game1.cs now you notice when we created Screen Manager, we had it derived from Drawable Game Component. You will see why that's useful now. So, in the Attributes section of Game1.cs, we need to add Screen Manager. And Screen Manager, I'm going to call it that. So this will create our object of the screen manager. Now what we need to do is initialize the screen manager object in the constructor. We need to pass a game. We need to pass a this, not game. Now after we initialize screen manager, we need to add it to our components. Add now that's all you have to do as you notice we have a base dot initialize uh, we have base dot update and base dot draw now base dot initialize will not be used for our screen manager but base dot update and base dot draw will automatically handle in the background all of our components which needs to be updated and which needs to be drawn that's what the drawable game component does for us that's why we derived it from that so we do not have to explicitly say screen manager dot update and screen manager dot draw now that that is done, we need to add draw calls to the menu screen. Now, as you can see in the text version, we are simply looping for every text T in menu entries and for every text T in help text. We're just calling t.draw and passing a sprite badge, so that's all we have to do in our code. So we delete the comment if m state is equal to menu state dot main we are going to draw the menu entries and we're gonna delete the other comment else and leave that blank for now so now what we're going to do is for each text T in menu entries T dot draw and we're going to pass it sprite batch now the same thing for the help region except it's help entry or help contents So now what we need to do is add sprite batch argument to the screen calls in screen manager. And what I mean by that is go to screen manager and do the to do. And what we need to do is call the screen menu. And the screen menu has a draw method, so we need to call that and pass it sprite batch. Now if we press F5, our program will run, but we'll get a error, and it will say invalid operation ex 